Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Teacups and welcome back to Oxford United challenging for the Premier League. So last episode we had an amazing run. Three wins in a row, good comebacks as well. Don't get me wrong, those comebacks were absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe our team came back because usually when I go down against the computer, I just can't get goals. I really can't. I have to be the one to score first if I'm going to guarantee a victory. But we're on a really, really good run at the moment. I hope it will continue because we need to climb up those spots. We're currently in eighth. We need to get to number one, but it's still early in the season. Not many points separate us from the top anyway. So we've got a little bit of work to do. If we could have a good run right now, we would just absolutely just skyrocket up the table. So yeah, this is how today went. So as usual, there's not much I can do at the moment. I can only answer player conversations and really just do a little bit of scouting. I did have a player conversation with Matt Crombie. I think he's a reserve goalkeeper. He wants more. He wants some more game time, but... I don't want him, he's only rated I think 40 something so he's not going to replace Clarkie at the moment and I'm probably going to let him go at the moment. I did put him in the bench for the next game just to cheer him up, hopefully his mood might be a little bit better but he isn't going to get any game time at the moment. But after that there was nothing really else I could do and it was time to get into the first match of the day, another league game, Oxford United away to AFC Wimbledon and this is how it went. And straight away, we were pumped up. We are on a free game winning streak. The team's morale is just up there. <laughs> it is through the roof at the moment. The team's just feeling amazing. I've said this all before. But yeah, it paid dividends. Because in the sixth minute, Neil puts away a beautiful ball. Amazing burst of pace from him. He's just been look he's just looking like an absolute amazing loan. And I would love to buy this guy at the end of the season. He is going to be one for the future. But he puts away a cool, calm and collective finish. And we're already 1-0 up. And it got even better. We were just putting so much pressure on them. They were literally not there. <laughs> we were just having attack after attack, corner after corner. And we got our second goal. 22nd minute, another banger from Davis. It's like we're getting a banger in episode. We're just scoring amazing goals at the moment. Finesse, abuse, but that is an amazing finish. We're already 2-0 up. And guess what? It gets even better. On the 32nd minute, we're not letting up. We're pounding AFC Wimbledon's arse. We're not letting them go home with anything. We're getting our goal difference up. And guess who scores again? Davis with, oh my god, another amazing finesse from him. Honestly, I don't even know how that went in. The goalkeeper just absolutely retarded. But that's even more finesse abuse. Just look how slow it is. But look at the curvature of the ball. Amazing finish. After that, though, we didn't get any more goals this half, surprisingly. I just felt like every shot we had could go in. Wimbledon were just not even there. <laughs> it was like school kids out there. It was like men against boys out there. I know that's cliche, but that's really what it was like. The team is just gelling so much right now. At the beginning of the season, we were just struggling. But now that we've got that burst of pace, that beautiful finesse in there, those great finishes from Neil and Davis, you know, it feels like everyone can score. All my midfield feel capable of scoring goals, which is what you want. You know, strikers can put away goals, so can the midfield. Hell, even the defenders can. Every corner that goes in, they can head it out in the goal. But once the halftime came and went, honestly, the first half, didn't even feel like Wimbledon were there. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again because it was true. I don't even remember them having a shot in the first half. But yeah, this is how the second half went. So honestly, straight away it did feel like a different Wimbledon. They came out, ooh, they had so much more possession of the ball. I don't know why. I think we just laid back a little bit. Uh, or maybe I got a little bit lazy. You know, I was like, yeah, this is a definite win. But they did strike back in the 65th minute. Guess what? A header for Midson. Decent finish. Defender shouldn't be beaten like that though. I think that was Jack Grimm who was at fault. But yeah, what you're going to do. It's 3-1 at the moment. We're alright. And to be honest with you, that was the only highlight of the second half. Not much else happened. We honestly didn't have no more shots. It was like a different Oxford United team as well. Uh, we were just not putting away the shots. Uh, AFC Wimbledon were applying the pressure. Maybe they should have got one more goal. May hey, maybe even two more goals. They might have got a draw at this, but they didn't. We got our win. 3-1 victory. We're doing so well at the moment. So after the game, I was looking at my scouting reports from Spain. I saw this Carlos from Cordoba. I think that's how you pronounce their team. He looks pretty decent. I wouldn't mind picking him up later on. He is 29 years of age. He's worth 300,000 at the moment. We might be able to get him on the cheap. He's got some really, really decent stats for a midfielder. I might maybe pick him up later on. I'm going to inquire about him at the moment to see what they would want for him. Because if we get to League 1, we might be able to afford someone like him. And that would be absolutely amazing. But after that as well, check the table again. We've moved up to six. We're getting our asses up that table. Portsmouth, we're coming for you, Sunshine. We're going to take that number one spot. We're getting promoted this season and we're getting that league title. That is the hope at the moment. And it's time for the next game. Another league game. Oxford United at home to Fleetwood. And this is how it went. 
So keeping in fashion with the early goals, we broke out straight away. Seventh minute, Alan Hill. Finesse of motherfucking Buse. Look at that finish. That's a Ronaldo finish. That's a Messi finish. That's a world-class motherfucking finish. We're already 1-0 up. <laughs> now, usually I summarise both halves of the game, but after that first goal, I thought, you know what? We're going to absolutely bang Fleetwood just like we banged AFC Wimbledon. They might get a goal back, but we're probably going to score like four or five goals. Well, it didn't finish like that, and it stayed at 1-0 throughout the whole game. That seven-minute goal made the difference because it was just a midfield battle. It was just two teams just tackling each other in the midfield and nothing happened. I don't think I had a shot after Hall scored, and I don't think fucking Fleetwood had a shot either. They didn't even have any overpowered crosses. They didn't even have any of that. It was a, such a boring game. I'm going to spare you from watching crappy highlights from just two teams bumming each other in the midfield. So yeah, that's how the game ended. A vital three points. We'll take those three points because that could have very easily ended a draw. And we'll take that and we'll go straight into the next game because that's literally what I did. Finish the game, back into the next game. Not much else I can do. And for the final game of the day, Oxford United away takes it her. And this is how it went. Okay, so as usual, we broke out straight away. The ball was ours. This game is ours. I'm just going to say that right now. We are the dominant force in League 2 at the moment. And I don't know how I keep doing this, but I scored early on yet again. Ninth minute, Davis, the beauty. This guy is scoring a banger a game. Look at this finish from him. Jesus Christ. Finesse abuse, but he works it. You know, he makes so many good tackles beforehand, gets that ball, puts that in the back of the net. And that's a world card finish. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Barcelona wants to sign this kid right now. He is amazing. My midfielders are just doing the job at the moment. And yeah, we're 1 0 up already. <laughs> we got another goal before half time. Another corner comes in. Mullins gets his big fat noggin on that, puts that thing away. We're already 2 0 up. Everyone, like, this is the thing. My midfielders and defenders are scoring more goals than my strikers. I know Neil and Constable are amazing tanks themselves, but Jesus Christ, they're getting outshined by the midfielders and the defence. But after that, half-time came and went. We kept the same mojo. We were just lightning, absolute lightning on the pitch. I know it's raining, but we were just everywhere. The ball was ours. Guess what happened? We scored another goal. And guess what it is? It's another sweaty, sweaty, sweaty corner. 79th minute. Well, actually, it's not that sweaty. Look at Mullins. He works his arse off for this goal. Gets the header in. Keeper makes a fine save. Goes in again. Gets another header. Gets his goal. He's got two goals this game. <laughs> he is outperforming our strikers. But yeah, we'll take it. We're 3-0 up. After that, Exeter did come to the party. They did get their own goal back. I think I just turned off. They kind of deserved the goal anyway. They were putting the pressure at that point. And I made some really stupid defending mistakes. But yeah, it was 3-1. It's already in the 90th minute. I think you know where this is going. We won the game. We won the game in fine form. Jesus Christ, Oxford United are just pounding away the amazing goals at the moment. And they're just, they're like, they're a completely different team to what they were at the start of the season. At the start of the season, I thought, oh God, we're going to be a mid-table team. But we're just putting away amazing goals every game. We're just getting the points. We're in a six-game winning streak right now. I think it might even be seven, but I know it's definitely six at the moment. Can we keep this up and just keep going? Win every game. For the rest of the season would be absolutely amazing. But that is a hard task. We probably will get a draw here and there. I don't think we'll get a loss at the moment. Because I just don't feel like we're going to lose. I feel like we can win every single game we go into. And that's promotion thoughts right there. So yeah, that's how the episode went. I hope you join me for the next episode. If things are getting juicy right now. I've been Mr. Teacup. If you rate, come subscribe. See you next time.